Hey guys, and welcome back to .hack GU uh, Reminisce. I was about to say Rebirth, but no, it's not. Now we're gonna go ahead and watch, um, we're gonna watch Pyros the Third be a jackass in his online jack. And, um, hey, that's why it's called Online Jack. They just can't have ass. Because it's the internet, and nobody can swear on the internet in 2007. Or 2017, actually. Oh my god! In one year! I forgot about that! In one year! That's when this is gonna happen! Oh my god! It's gonna be really boring, because the world is actually a very boring MMO. But, we'll have all this VR stuff, and it'll be good, and we'll have, like, brain interface consoles and stuff. That's gonna be awesome, anyway. Oh, on, my Jack. Don't, oh, wait, what? Oh, okay, yeah, that's the new one. Okay, so, yeah. Uh, investigator discovered a mysterious message in the hospital room with a missing Osamu Kawaguchi. All right. Hey, folks, thanks for joining us. Salvador Ihara's Online Jack! The program that researches the hottest breakthrough topics and tells you everything you need to know about it. That's Online Jack! Our team, along with teacher Michiru Tajima, has begun the search for missing child Osamu Kawaguchi. After an odd incident while investigating Doll Syndrome, the mysterious disease that has been spreading among elementary school students, we began by visiting the home of associate professor Taichiro Sugai. All right, this is Professor Sugai's private apartment. Man, can you believe it? His private life for all to see. Uh, still, you know. Be quiet. Ah! Sir, we're so sorry. Hmm. Yes, please pardon our intrusion. If it wasn't for Mr. Jima's recommendation, I would have never let you get past Professor, the door. Professor, I only wish to find out the truth. Hmm. Professor. Hmm? Skaith, Innis, Magus. Do you have any idea what the blood-written words in Osamu's ward meant? <clears throat> hmm? Are you aware of the Epitaph of Twilight? The what? Yes, I've heard of it. It was the novel that served as the basis for the settings of the world. It's a poem. And within it is contained the names of the eight ominous waves. So you mean there really is a connection between this incident and the world? Whoever left the bloody words evidently had extremely strong feelings regarding the world. So, it's possible that Osamu may not have been the one who wrote them, right? The word or anagram Ida which appeared in your show while you were taping at Osamu's is unknown. However... Sakaki. Can you tell me about Sakaki? Mm hmm. There were six boys who were all part of the same guild in the online game The World. Hmm? This is. This is Moon Trees. The boys were also members of a guild called Moon Tree. So all those children were part of an online game group too? It's the... Seven Council. Ha! That's right. The PC name for one of the members of the Seven Council, a Moon Tree admin group is... Sakaki. My pupil? These were taken before his disappearance. Oh my, that's Osamu. There were many unresolved rumors about the world circulating seven years ago. When a bunch of players fell into comas. What? Yes, I've come to believe that the world has some sort of effect on people's brains for some unknown reason. That's the hypothesis I based my investigation on. So everything is connected to the events of seven years ago? <gasps> Toru! 
Strange incidences such as irregularities in electrical equipment occurred in the hospital as well. Who sent me this email? Sheesh, Michiru, don't scare me like that. <laughs> hmm? <gasps> what? We have to stop it. <laughs> what the? Michiru! <laughs> Michiru Tajima has just suddenly run out of Professor Sugai's apartment. What was the message on her cell phone that made her run? Hey, Michiru, wait up! Wait up! Wait up! Wait up! <laughs> So yeah, pretty much, <laughs> it's weird because it's like, you get to see these, these online jacks, and they, they show you what the out wide, the outside world is seeing, and how they're seeing this all progress, but we're getting all this information way faster than they are, because we're the ones involved in it. So it's interesting to finally be on the other side of the news, you know what I mean? To be... To be the people who know the news before it's actually in the news. You know what I mean? It's a very interesting situation that you can be in in this game. Okay, so now uh, we have the mail station. I guess I'll go ahead and check my... I guess I'll just get my check my email. Oh, okay. All previous mail messages are archived. View archive mail, press triangle. Okay. Alright. CC Corp. Oops. No, 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 no. I didn't mean to... Ugh. Okay. Thank you for regular patronage. Oh! Following campaigns have ended. Stray Mecha Grunty, Chim's Kicker, Lucky Data Collection, Bickman's Model, and Chase the Bounty. It's all over. Good. Upgrades. Okay, party cooperation. All of your party members can now kick lucky animals. Okay, gather. Oh! You can press L1 for them to gather. Dual swords actions. Combo motions. Number of combo hits have been raised from 4 to 7. Okay, charge attacks. You must now attack an enemy at least once before using a charge attack. Broadsword. Charge movement. Charge shock wave. Ah, cool. Okay. Crimson Versus is now open. That's all we need to know. Conversion bonuses. Okay, we got gold, gold and some items and some movies. Doppelganger weapon. If you defeated the Doppelganger in Hot and Dotic 1, you got the key item Own King. You can receive the Doppelganger only weapon. Heinz Invasion by defeating a doppelganger in this game. Okay. Well, whatever. I didn't do the doppelganger in the first one. Okay. Very relieved to make it back. Sakaki. It's a truly unbelievable experience, wasn't it? Still can't believe that our minds are trapped inside of a game. So, about my symptoms. I can talk in real life now, but I can't feel anything in the tip of my hand. Oh. It's the exact same spot where my character was cracked. I'm a little scared. When I went to the hospital, the doctor told me the symptoms resembled those of Doll Syndrome, but he couldn't tell me what could have caused them. I thought I would be fine once I got back to the real world. What should I do? You have time for talk? If you do, please meet me at the front of the fountain in the Alchemy District. Her hand is paralyzed, so the real Adderley is... There's no way a doctor can help her. The problem's got to be Ida. Okay. Now, sounds like it hurt. Why'd she reject you? Basically, she said, you don't want me... You just, want my, you just want a girlfriend. She knows I have a lot of female friends. Maybe that's why I'm so easily misunderstood. Not only do I keep getting turned down in real life, but I've been on a streak of getting dumped online, too. Well, that sucks. I respect your sheer vitality when it comes to that stuff. Two-timing our online girls with your offline. Wait, you're two-timing online girls with your offline girls. Well, no wonder wall. Yeah, I'll just be nice. Okay. So now, now that all that's done, and we have something to do, we're going to ignore it and go go play a card game. Card games and computers, you might say. Crimson versus. Yeah! Crimson vs. is an automatic card game. Create a deck, register for the battle arena, and battles will be conducted automatically with other players' decks. Battling nets you cards, which can be used to st build stronger decks. Win matches to become the number one player in ranking. Okay, you got the following cards. These cards have already been sent inside your deck. Unreaching Blade, Trinity, Mark, March of Destruction, Degenerating Haseo, Master Subaru. Oh, hey, Subaru. Or, uh, Subaru from, um, Sign. That's cool. Cat Punch, Order Upheld, Syllabus from Canard. Booster Pack, Red Rebellion, two packs. Number of cards, six. Kappa Kappa, uh, Kappa Rappa Kappa, Ballmung. Ooh, nice. I got Ballsmung. Unreaching Blade, Young Girl's Path, Rose Letters, what was that? Okay. Deck Edit. 
Okay, so. This is really neat. I, I love Crimson Versus. It's actually very fun. Deck edit. Okay. Here you can choose which deck you'd like to edit. You can maintain a total of three decks and choose any one of those three to use for battles. So we're going to do deck one. Okay. Here you can choose which cards in your deck you wish to switch. Card types are mainly divided into generals and units. A single deck is made up of three, one general and three units. Each general has a charisma stat, which amounts to the maximum cost available to units. Always consider a card's abilities and its charisma cost to make the strongest deck you can. Okay. So, here you can choose which cards you wish to add to a deck. If you wish to add more than one of the same card, you must have enough of that card in your possession to do so. Okay. So let's see here. HP, Trinity Assault. Okay. So, HP 23 and AP 2 versus 15 and 4. Damn. And 18 and 2. Trinity Snipe. Whoa! Oh, that's an ultra rare. What is, uh... Oh, Balmung is common. Okay, I thought it was one of the rare ones. Haseo at Dawn. Kite. Haseo the Black Rogue. Black Rose. Haseo Terror of Death. Pie from Raven. Okay, those are all the rare ones. Ooh, Tabby! Tabby from Twilight Brigade. Ultra rare. Shino is super rare. Saki Saka from Twilight Brigade. Haseo Counterattack. I'm just looking at all the rare ones. Ultra rare. Ovon, of course. Tri Edge is rare. Endrance the Exquisite. <laughs> Coon from Raven. Bordeaux the Mad Blade. Ovon the Twilight. Hey, Mr. All! Awesome! Alright, well. For now, we're gonna go with, uh, we're just gonna use Degenerating Haseo. And, let's see. Junction ability Mind's Eye evades an attack from enemy general for one turn only. Forces your general to take the first turn. If both parties have Junction ability, it loses its effect. And, uh, deals one point of damage to enemy general at the beginning of your turn. It's not bad. So, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna select this. Okay, so that's, okay. After editing your deck, try using it in practice battle. You can use practice battles to put one of your decks against another and verify your card's abilities. Practice battle. Practice battle allows you battle two of your own decks. Okay. Um. Alright, let's just do this. And then choose a deck from the right side. If you make your choice, battle will begin between left and right side decks. Okay. And this one. Okay. Okay, so basically this is what, oh man, <clears throat> I forget exactly how this works, but let's see, quick view? Okay, so, need a battle to unit two battle, okay, so man, I forget how all this works, but basically what you're trying to do is you start out by having all of your unit cards fight. And they have different elements, and they can beat each other out. For example, that one had a feather versus what looked like a gun. See, here we go, another gun versus a feather. So, it looks as though the feather is weak to the gun. So, because of that, you get plus one, and you're better than the feather. So, those two win. Now, the generals come out. And depending on how many of your unit cards win, you get a boost to it, I believe. Yeah, see? False, it's trial. Plus one AP, plus minus one general to your general at the beginning of every turn. And then Flame Fang, two AP. And now he gets Mind's Eye, so it makes. So you evade the first turn. Okay? Evaded it. Alright. And. Okay, so that's the first turn. Ow. Okay, folds the trial again. Boom. Now your AP is your like your attack points. You might have thought it was like ability points or whatever. But yeah, at this point you can basically just hit quick view. If you press and hold triangle, it just auto plays out. Looks like I'm gonna win. Like heavily. Yeah. Boom. Done. Alright, so syllabus beat Haseo because of the uh, the feathers and everything. So yeah, that is how that works. It's a very interesting battle system. So at this point, we can take our other cards here and we can start swapping them out for other things. Okay, let's see here. 
Oh, wait a minute. Removes one junction ability gained through a junction shield element unit from the enemy general. Okay, well that's... Oh, wow. That's pretty good. Gonna take the first turn. Deals one point of damage to the enemy general at the beginning of your turn. That's pretty good. Adds five a a HP. Mmm. Adds one AP. Adds two AP. Adds two paid at the end of your turns when your general goes first. Ooh! Okay. So let's see here. Um, now... Okay, let's see here. Deals one point of damage. Okay, beginning of your turn. That's lame. We want to do... Uh, this. Okay, but now we need to change this. And then... So now, let's try fighting with... Okay, so everything stayed, right? Uh, three points. Yes, okay, good. Now let's go ahead and try and do another practice battle. So we're gonna use this one as deck one, and then we'll use the other Haseo deck. Oh wait. It doesn't matter, I'm just gonna test a random deck. Okay, so, again, now we know how all this goes, so just press and hold tri uh, triangle. Okay, so that one got lost, that one got lost. Okay. Woo! There we go. Okay, so I won. Just with the Aurora tears. So it's like every time I go first, I get two more AP, and I just got, I just went first because of whatever. So, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do, okay, you need to register the deck you will use for battle before you can use the battle. Please choose battle entry under versus. Okay, so versus, battle entry. Choose which deck to register for battles, okay. You only register one deck at a time, and you don't actually have to, to sit here and do that. So you can just register your deck and then, there you go. Preparations for battle are now complete. Please choose end and return to the desktop. A battle will take place automatically once every minute. Return to Crimson Battle, or Crimson Versus after a while to see the battle results. Okay. So that's all there is to it. And Crimson Versus is actually very fun. Crimson Versus is one of the... And here's the other thing. The other thing that's kind of neat about it. It's entirely optional. You don't have to do a damn thing with it. But... I actually wound up enjoying Crimson Versus so much and like building my deck so much that I got to number one. Even though you don't have to. It's actually kind of fun. Oh, deleted. Uh. Leave my admin, delete my admin. Please, everyone, calm down now. No one will leave you with posts like that. Heh. Gastron just made a big deal. Okay, deleted, deleted. I gotta write this down. I whisper you in town. Sure, that's fine. I know that's made how thoroughly this confirmation has been deleted. Maybe there's something shady going on in the background. <laughs> Lol. Anyway. So yeah. Wow. Looks like they're uh, going nuts with the those black markers. Oh boy. Adelie is waiting for us at the water fountain down in the alchemy district. Okay, so we shall go. We shall go to her. Blech. Anyway, wait a minute. If your hand is if your hand is paralyzed, how are you playing? Shit. Okay. Isn't the first time we've ever gone to the Alchemy District for anything? I think it is. Which is unfortunate because it's a nice looking area. Do 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 do. So who's here? Is it just me and her? Or? Yep. Ugh. Uh, yeah, how's it going? Adelie. Look, I mean, listen, I can speak normally again. Yep. But what about your paralyzed hand? Well, it's still there. But even so, the fact that I can speak is a big step forward. Um. Look. I even bought a controller that I can use with one hand. <laughs> That's not funny. Are you sure you want to keep going with the world? <laughs> I mean, aren't you scared? 
<sighs> Come on. It's not like the world's going to go away. So why not just take some time off? Of course I'm scared. I'm scared, but... But I'm not going to quit the world, ever! <sighs> After all, I can tell. This isn't anything that a doctor can cure. If I don't do my best here, it'll never be healed. There's... There's nothing I can do for Adderley, is there? I thought we... So I have an avatar now. So what? Nothing's changed at all. What are you talking? Oh my god. Oh boy. First Shino, and then Adderley. I can't save anyone by myself. And also, don't forget the fact that Sakaki is here. Ugh. And... Maseo? You're not feeling well, are you? If you have time in the game, you should rest up. Oh. Okay. Well then. I'm such an idiot. It's here in the world where Adderley seems to feel most at home. After all, this is where Sakaki is. Hmm. <laughs> I have an avatar, but nothing's changed. I can't do anything to help her except finding the Ida that took her avatar, data draining it, getting it back, and giving it to her. Which you can do with an avatar. Ugh. Anyway. Ooh! That was four battles. Okay. Ah, <laughs> I lost a lot. All right, once battle results have been posted, you can use log to see what happened during the battle. Viewing your log will let you see how you need to edit your deck in order to win. Sure, let's let's see. Uh, uh versus log. Okay, okay. Snipe Trinities is the trend. Okay, whoa. Opponent players' decks contain trends. For example, when Snipe Trinities are the trend. Opponent decks will have many snipe cards. Putting together a, car, a deck with the Trinity as well suited to defeat the opponent's tur Trinity trend will make it easier to win battles. Okay. Yeah, it looks like everybody's snipe. Okay, so that's what it is. It's like feather, whatever they are. Feather, snipe, and shield. Okay. Or wing. I, I don't know what it is. Okay. So, let's see. Game tutorial. Uh, not obtaining. How about obtaining cards? Yeah. Okay. Get a booster pack by winning a battle. Fight a certain number of battles and play a random card lottery. Really? Why didn't I get any new cards? I won that fight. Wait a minute. Versus log. View this log. No. But why didn't I get a? Uh, I didn't get a thing. That sucks. Okay, we'll deck it. Um, okay, so it's not good that I have two feather cards in here because they're weak to whatever. Snipe. So here, I'll get that. And then... Not that one. Let's do... I guess. I, I don't know, man. Oh, wait a minute. What is this? Trinity Assault. Assault, Shield, and Snipe. Okay, so Snipe beats... What's it called? Okay. I'm not using much. Let's see. Then again, you don't have to feel the need to... Um, to fill up your AP thing. Or your Charisma usage. You don't actually have to. So you don't need to worry about that. Let's see. Mind's eye. Well, we're gonna do that. I think that might be a bit better. Okay, so let's see here. Versus battle entry, this one. 
Now, why don't I have... Let's go ahead and check this one. Let's see. Okay. That one beat me. That one beat me. That one beat... Jeez. So I just happened to beat her, basically. That's what you're telling me. So I literally just happened to win. Wait, what? What happened there? Okay, let's see. Unit three. Okay, so turn one. Turn two, turn three, turn four, turn five, turn six, turn seven, turn eight. So is there only 10 turns? Because 10 turns have passed, the winner will be declared by... Okay. Gotcha. So that's the only reason I won. <laughs> it's just because Miss Troll doesn't have very many things. <laughs> Much HP. Uh, okay, so basically all the other ones I would have gotten destroyed by. Okay. Well. So, we're going to try this one now. Okay. Yes. And Crimson Versus. We're going to check our email and then I'm going to end it off. I think there's the other is emails. Okay. What have we got? Okay. About Adelie. How are you? Is everything fine? Is everything all right now? I'm doing fine. This has never left. Being trapped inside the world just seems like a bad dream now. Okay. Which is why I'm writing this one. Actually, I'm at my part-time job to be... I have to be careful not to get swallowed by my boss. Otherwise, I'll cut my paycheck on the spot. It's not too easy, though. Apparently she went to the hospital with her mother, and now they think she may have doll syndrome. I hope the results of her tests have some good news. She also said that Yada told her all about Ida and Giyu. Frankly, I don't think there was any need to tell her now. What do you think? Seriously, what on earth can be thinking? Yay. Uh, sorry about my boss came to check on us, and I hit the send button on accident and I tried to hide my cell phone. Anyway, as I was saying, Adelie's condition didn't heal completely even after we got back to the Ida server. In that case, there's only one thing we can do. Get Adelie's Ida epitaph back from the Ida. It's our only choice. Okay, OPS seems Adelie still needs to process all this. New stuff, not surprising seeing it's happen at all. Be nice to her if you see her. Hmm. It looks like Adelie wrote Kuhn an awfully detailed email. I guess she really is putting some distance between us after the whole Sakaki thing. Well, I mean, that is fair. Come to Raven's at home. Well, guess I'll go to Raven's at home for now. Guess I'll do blank for, for now. <laughs> guess I'll blank for now. <laughs> anyway, guess I'll end the video now.